Thank you to the members here who have gathered, the courageous members. Thank you for being here. And I am a proud, proud, shouting member of the Congressional Progressive Caucus. We will not stand down. Now, my friends, let me give you breaking news. Well, we've got some friends out there. Thank you, friends. Breaking news is that the Speaker of the House has just indicated that he will ask General Sessions to recuse himself. And I say that is not enough. 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 Let me share with you a little document called the Constitution. Let me acknowledge that as the executive, those individuals are sworn by oath to uphold the laws of the United States of America. The Attorney General of the United States is the chief legal officer of the people of the United States. He is not the counsel to the President. The Attorney General is to uphold the laws. He is to respect the most vulnerable. He is to fight for civil rights. He is to stand in the gap against hate crimes. And yet, we have an individual who was sworn in his testimony, who by actual video and voice told Senator Franken the complete opposite, gave false testimony. That is a potential breach of the law. As the chief legal officer, you cannot maintain your position by breaching the law. False testimony counters any right you have to remain as Attorney General of the United States of America. And so, we already know that there is a litany of accusations that the Republicans have refused to investigate on President Trump as a senior member of the Judiciary Committee. Over and over, we have recounted through an inquiry that we did on Tuesday all of the violations under the Emolument Clause, all of the money grabbing, all of the Trump hotels, all of the business deals, all of that is illegal as it relates to the Constitution of the United States. And then, and then, for our Republican friends to suffer the conspicuous intrusion of Russia into the sacred and somber election of the people, one vote, one person, not one Russian government vote, not one Putin vote, but one person, one vote. And so I can only conclude that anyone who was in any way engaged in contacts that cannot be justified or cannot be explained or was not presented in the sworn testimony when you were directly asked whether any surrogates or others might have had contact with the Russians. I think that is a clear question, is it not? And so the answer would be what I did. I had a meeting, but it was related to this. Nothing was said. So let me conclude by saying we are constitutionally firm on our standing today. We must speak for the American people who cannot speak for themselves. And as we watch someone who has sworn to uphold the laws of the United States of America now finds himself within the jaws of misrepresentation and false testimony, I'd make the argument that only a patriot, only a patriot, of which I assume we all think we are, would stand up and accept the responsibility and step down. In the alternative, in the alternative, and I ask my colleagues to join, we will be sending a letter to President Trump asking him to seek the resignation of his Attorney General or fire him right on the spot if he believes in the integrity of this country. So thank you, my friends, for speaking for those who cannot speak for themselves, and I thank my colleagues for their leadership, their courage, and their responsibility for standing for what is right. The Constitution lives and America believes in the patriots who will stand for those who cannot stand for themselves. Thank you, Representative Sheila Jackson Lee. Thank you so much for being here.